Today, we explore the abandoned square, Stained Glass Church. Built in 1956, this church was part of a post-Second World War movement to expand the Catholic Church's reach into Montreal's communities. The church is a heritage site, though it has been closed since 2013. It's a rather interesting church in terms of modern architecture, which remains in connection with traditions. Artwork left behind ranges from stained glass, sculptures, and mosaics. After multiple fires at this church, one was found to be arson, destroying the church's presbytery. Today, the church sits abandoned, awaiting its fate, which is unknown. What's up guys, it's Noah here and welcome to this explore of the abandoned square stained glass church. This is one of the most absolutely beautiful churches I've ever been to, just like the one we did earlier today. Been wanting to get into this one for a year or so, and it actually was just open by chance. So yeah, we're gonna go check it out, see how bad it, shape it's in. It did catch on fire uh, sometime within the last six months, I believe. Uh, so there's one part that's heavily damaged, but the actual sanctuary part, the church part, is completely intact, so it just has a lot of graffiti. So, that's enough for me. Let's get into this explore. Alright guys, so this is at the top, the stained glass on this church. Just look at that. That's so unique. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So in this top area, there's a lot of weird stuff. So there's like this star that's sitting up here. A couple of pieces of furniture. This would have been probably one of part of the pew or something like that. And then there's just graffiti all over this place. Unfortunately, kids have just absolutely mangled it. It's interesting that the balcony just overhangs like this. You get a whole panoramic view of the whole church. So there's not really tons of here to see, so we're going to go down to the main part. Lots of decay. There's also a lot of fire damage in here too. It's down over here. It's a bathroom. So these were the front doors of the church right here. This also leads to the basement, which I'm probably not going to go down into. You can just see every inch of this place is tagged up. But we still wanted to explore it because look at how absolutely stunning this place is. So on the walls there was wooden figures of, I guess, stuff from the Bible, but those have been ripped down, some of them. And each of these little squares are pieces of stained glass, but a lot of them have been either stolen or just destroyed by kids. You can see all the soot from the fire damage in here too, and all of the pews. Light fixtures always super nice. So, unfortunately, kids just don't have the respect to actually admire a place like this and appreciate it for what it is. They have to come in with spray cans and just completely vandalize it. Look at that stained glass right there. pan over and to the ones on this side. Pretty much the exact same. Over here's the confession booths. So let's sit in there. Confess all your sins. Father forgive me for I have trespassed. It's cool that there's crosses in the doors too. Not super, super private though at that point, I guess. I guess you can see something was sitting here across, was sitting there in the fire. 
Somebody must have moved it. Got like a piano or organ sitting right here. It's got all the sheet music still. It's all in French, of course. Not the music, but the words. I'm not sure if this is like an altar or what this would be, but it's really nice. Very nice church. So if we go up this, up to like the altar area, this is why this place is called the stained glass, or the uh, square stained glass church. For these amazing features of stained different colored glasses that glow throughout the whole church. Not sure whose idea it was to do that. One of the coolest things I've ever seen. Guys, check out this like altar that's like right here. See the graffiti around Jesus, and they actually tagged and put Instagram names on Jesus. And they even put, uh, well, you can see what they put on him. Don't know how they got up there, but oh, actually, I do know how they got up there. So leaving this beautiful sanctuary. I don't even know what this would have been. Maybe like a, uh, it's not a kitchen, but maybe like a food preparation area or something. Some sort of storage area in the church. This is another room that was heavily damaged by the fire. There's a statue up there. Completely charred. Everything in here gone to waste. A lot of biblical stuff on the ground. Posters, banners, photos, everything. So Alan's convinced me to go to the basement again. <laughs> again, we never were in the basement. No, at the Victorian house. You're like, oh, do it. I was like, okay. Yeah, I could have sworn this place had power over it. I doubt it. Oh, so this is like a dance hall almost? Yeah. Like a banquet hall for, well it's the basement banquet hall in this abandoned church. Well, you know what, it was more lit up because none of those boards were there. That's what it is. Stage is cool in there. Did bingo in here? That seemed that that checks out. <clears throat> it's 
how many chairs they left behind in here. That's a shit ton. Yeah. You'd think the church would reuse them, but no. That is pretty cool. Full stage area. It's like a really old clothing rack. Okay, where's the sta the statues? Uh, uh, hey guys, this looks like the charred cross from upstairs that was missing off the floor. Smells like absolute butt down here. Yeah, it smells weird. Especially right here. It smells like B.O. This is where it's wet. But there's the statues. Okay. I walked around that way. Exercise bike. I can zoom in on these ones at least. And there's just some statues left over in there. Looks like it would have been like a little office room almost in here. Yeah, there's a bunch of little offices in here. These basements is these basements always have way more to offer than you'd expect. Then we can go up this way. Uh, yeah, I went up those, but I wouldn't suggest we both go up. So this leads up into the burnt out That's area. That's the garage. So this was the garage of the home. Yep. guys. Oh, stair almost fell in. This looks like it would have been an office again. It's like almost all offices because even in there, stereo is cool in there. Cabinet. Can't go up those stairs, obviously. I wouldn't even bother. Another part in this burnt out building. Where? Oh, the old re uh, record player. It's like the fourth office in here. And obviously there was an upstairs, but it's not gonna happen. And that is an old record player. It looks like. I'm not. This is as far as I'm going. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching this amazing explore of this amazing abandoned church. Absolutely stunning. One of my favorites. Uh, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Smash the like button. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and on Facebook. We're getting real close to 6,000 subscribers here on YouTube. So thank you everybody that's subscribed so far. Really, really appreciate it. Hope you guys are enjoying the content. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next awesome explore.